let's see the difference between attributed gauge and variable gauge this is the attributed gauge like gauge ring gauge snap gauges variable gauge is micrometer vernier caliper now see let's see the brief of uh, attributed gauge attributed gauging is performed by using mechanical equipment that provide conformity result into a okay not okay status instead of a numerical value in a mechanical manufacturing industries or any type of engineering field uh, during mass production we can't check the dimension or reading of any product for that purpose we have implemented plug gauges or ring gauges slip gauges to ensure the product conformation formative by checking uh, for example if you check a id of a any bored part we will ensure by checking through plug gauge like go and no go no go, go confirms okay and no go confirms not okay this status is enough for the mass production condition and to ensure the slot width the we can check by the slip gauges for 100% and these attributed gauges are used for 100% inspections list of attributed gauges plug gauges ring gauges snap gauges slip gauge receiving gauge now let's see the variable gauge variable type gauges provide a quantitative value for the part characteristics being checked up in this way they provide the data in a shop needs to make decision about process trends to diagnose manufacturing issues and to learn a little about the form of a part during a product setup or first of approval or middle of approval or last of approval approval we should know the reading of the product then only we can give a approval for the mass production run now and and it will be very important and variable gauges are used to measure the reading of the product by this reading we can ensure the product is meeting the drawing specification or not and it will be easy to analyze the failures and problems in the product by using these readings we can diagnose and analyze and resolve the issues at the process and production line now list of variable gauges micrometer vernier caliper depth gauge air plug gauge bore gauge dial gauge that let's see the comparison between attributed inspection and variable inspection your cost of inspection for attribute inspection is very low and variable inspection is high cost of in instrument attribute inspection is low and variable in inspection is high is a uh, variable inspection or instruments are made of very precise and the cost also very high skill unskilled person is enough for attribute inspection if we give a training to a unskilled person he can perform any type of part by checking go no go plug gauges or ring gauge confirms if go okay it is not okay and no go qualifies it is the product is ng it's a very and simple method for unskilled persons skilled person is required for variable inspection for micrometer vernier caliper to read the main skill readings and give the proper communication to the next level if a skilled person is not used and the feedback will be wrong and the process gets disturbed and the product gets rejected and ensure that skilled person has to be checked the, the variable instruments speed 
speed of the inspection is very high in the attributed gauge and low in variable inspection due to poor reading of the instrument charts for attribute inspection we will use p and c charts to gather the data for variable inspection we will use x bar and r bar chart to gather the data example of instruments for attribute gauge is plug gauge go no go variable inspection vernier caliper micrometer result for attributed gauge is simply it is okay and not okay okay means part will get moves to next stage not okay means part will be kept there and moved to the rejection or rework area variable inspection uh, if you take a example for hd in dimension will come in readings and it will be he and there will be a clear picture clear reading about the product and OD, you see the reading, OD 25.15, 25.11 is the reading of the by variable inspection method. Please subscribe, like, share. Thank you everyone.